Hi everyone and welcome back to week 10 of Birdsong Lessons with Lucy Lapwing. Now for today's songster, we're going to step a little bit outside of our comfort zone. We're going to step outside of the garden bird gang. Um, you do get this bird in gardens, but it's generally more kind of in nature reserves and parks and, and woodlandy scrubby areas that you're likely to encounter it. But I'm going to include it now because it's an iconic spring songster and it's quite easy to encounter at this time of year. They've come back in the last couple of weeks or so and it's so exciting. It is of course the chiff chaff! Hey. Chiff chaff! It's a little brown jobby. It's like this big and it's brown all over and that's it. Um, really cute, beautiful birds, but nothing too snazzy going on. And chiff chaffs, they do what they say on the tin. They sing their name, which makes it nice and easy for us. Now, a few episodes ago, I covered a um, very common garden bird, the great tit. And the great tit is a two syllable songster. And I mentioned at the time that there's several birds in the UK that have two syllable songs. Um, with a little bit of practice, it's quite easy to tell the difference between them. So we're gonna cover the chiff chaff today, and then we're gonna look back in time and compare it to the great tit just to help you tell the difference. Right, so we'll jump in and have a listen and then we'll get to how we identify it. That's really it, that's all there is to it. <laughs> um, so the chiff chaff, as I said, first of all, just imagine it's singing its name. So it just goes round and round. Chiff chaff, chiff chaff, chiff chaff. I think in German its name is Zulp Zalp, which I think is excellent. I, I maybe start a petition now to rename them Zulp Zalps in the UK. Um, but yeah, like I said, it sings its name. Now, to be able to tell the difference between a chiff chaff and another two syllable songster, like the great tit, it's all about counting that rhythm and that beat. And I remember getting these two mixed up all the time when I started out. Now, the chiff chaff, when it sings, it has a very even beat. So I like to think of it as like a clock. It's more of a tick tock. But if we listen to it, it goes. You hear that? It's not uneven, it's a very even rhythm to it. Now, if we go back and have a listen to the great tit, you can hear there's a bit more of a bounce to it. And as I said in the lesson, it sounds as though it's saying teacher on repeat. So, teacher, teacher, teacher. So hopefully you can hear that. It's just that little bit more uneven. So, chiff chaff. And then great tit. Just that little bit of a different rhythm. And it's very likely you'll hear both of them singing in the same area. So you should be able to get that comparison in the field with them next to each other. So that's really it. That's a really nice and quick, easy lesson. Chiff Chaff sings its name, tick tock, nice and easy. Um, and like I said, they're out all the time at the moment. Now, visually, Chiff Chaffs are very similar to a lot of other warblers in the UK, little brown jobs as they're known, um, but the song is a key thing. So if you can hear one singing, you know exactly what you're dealing with because nothing else sounds like it. But I don't know if you've got a different way of remembering the Chiff Chaff. Like I said, it's quite a basic one, but if you do, please let me know. Um, and if you've got any questions as well, please also get in touch. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.